Welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain about data mining functionalities. So we have almost five functionalities here and I will explain about each and everything in detail. So before getting into the video, I have started a new channel with study abroad content. If you are interested, I'll give the link of the channel in the description. You can have a look and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So among five uh, functionalities which we have, the first one is concept or class definitions or you can say descriptions as well. Concept or class, actually it is descriptions not definitions. Anything is okay. Okay, descriptions or definitions. So first thing, data is always associated with the class or a concept. Whatever data we are storing or whatever data we are having, always the data is associated with either a class or a concept. Okay, so for these classes or concepts, we are giving the description. That is, we are giving the explanation. Okay, that description can be done in two ways. Okay, uh, so actually, please do not mind my voice. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling well actually, but still, uh, you know, uh, adjust with my voice since if I am getting a comment or if I am getting a notification Instagram message or a, a you know Gmail everything is about data mining only so that is why I am doing the videos okay so first is data characterization and data discriminations okay so the descriptions of the data can be done in two ways I said right those two are nothing but data characterization and data discrimination okay so what do you mean by data characterization characterization is nothing but it refers to the summary of the class which we are studying it can be class or concept the summary of the class or concept about which we are studying okay summary is nothing but the general overview okay so as the output of this data characterization you will be getting the general overview of the class or the concept okay simple in data characterization you will be giving the overview yeah you, yeah you will be giving the summary of the class or the concept got it and after data characterization we have data description so yeah here is the data descri discrimination sorry in data discrimination it is nothing but if we are having two classes or two concepts we are having two classes or two concepts then it will compare the common features which are in between those two classes or those two concepts okay so in data characterization what we will be doing we will be writing the summary of the class the general overview of the class but in case of data discrimination what we will do is we will compare the features of the class with the other class and note down what are the common features and even in the common features also if there are any values changing okay all those things will be observed in this data discrimination and what is the output here it could be bar charts or curves etc in case of data characterization what was the output general overview was the output here what is the output bar charts or curves or you can get any uh, you know graphs all those okay so after this we have the second so in functionalities we have total five right first one is class or concept descriptions second one is mining frequent patterns let me zoom in yeah mining frequent patterns associations and correlations so what do you mean by frequent patterns what do you mean by associations what do you mean by correlations I will tell you and you know what is mining mining is nothing but extracting okay so frequent patterns you you know what is the word frequent means right which is happening you know more number of times which is happening happening most commonly okay so frequent patterns are nothing but things which are found most commonly in the data or you can also say the patterns which are found most commonly in the data are called as the frequent frequent patterns got it so in frequent patterns we have frequent item sets that is nothing but the items which are occurring frequently items are nothing but data items data items or items or data or data objects anything refers to same you need not get confused okay so frequent item sets are nothing but the items the data items which are occurring more frequently frequent subsequence is nothing but the subsequences which are occurring more frequently substructure also the data structures which are occurring more frequently are called frequent substructures next is the association analysis association analysis is nothing but 
it is a way of identifying the relation between the various items first of all what is association if you are associated with the organization or you are associated with the book or you are associated with the house whatever it is then what does it mean you are somehow related to that right here also so how the data items are related to each other what is the association between the data items okay all those things you can get in the association analysis what is the relationship simply you can remember for association you can remember relationship okay next for example with example you will understand it more better used to determine sales of items that are frequently purchased together see here we have two things frequently purchased is one data item and purchased together is data item one data item that is the things which are frequently purchased if there is a supermarket and in that supermarket the suppose let us take a frequently purchased items are cashew nuts or you know some dry fruits okay dry fruits are frequently purchased items next purchase together what are the items that are purchased together so always uh, you know uh, dry fruits plus chocolates are being uh, purchased together let us take okay so here this is dry fruits okay mm. what are frequently purchased items dry fruits what are the items that are purchased together dry fruits and chocolates so frequently purchased items is one data item and purchased together is one data item that is this is one set this is one set so what is the relationship between dry fruits and chocolates why are dry fruits and chocolates togetherly being purchased why dry fruits are being pur uh, frequently purchased so all those things you can uh, you know analyze okay simply association is nothing but relationship that's all next comes the correlation analysis Correla correlation analysis actu is actually a mathematical technique okay so here in correlation analysis what is shows us let me zoom in just a second yeah it shows how strongly a pair of attributes are related to each other or related together that is a pair of attributes you take or a pair of data items you take or a pair of data sets you take then how strongly these two are related to each other okay example tall people tend to have more weight tall people is one attribute here more weight is one attribute here how strongly see in most of the cases tall people will have more weight see of course nowadays because of the food habits and all even people who are short also are having a lot of weight that's that's uh, you know not what nature has designed so actually according to the nature tall people will have more weight short people will have less weight right so this is what tall tall people is one attribute and more weight is one attribute how those two attributes are strongly how they are related to each other got it so this is about the correlation analysis and next functionality is third one is classification and regression for predictive analysis predictive analysis is nothing but prediction of missing data if any data is missing or if any data is wrong in that case you will be predicting the data and filling the missing data or you will be predicting the data and replacing the wrong data got it so that is what predictive analysis is just predicting the data assuming the data got it and here this is the third functionality first one class or concept uh, discrimination done mining frequent patterns associations and correlations done next we have the classification and regression for predictive analysis so you have got what is predictive analysis now let me tell you what is classification and what is regression got it so classification you already know right e if you are having uh, you know two different types of chocolates with you then what you do you will be classifying them suppose you have kit kat and dairy milk with you then you will be classifying all kit kat chocolates into a one bunch and you'll be uh, classifying all uh, dairy milk chocolates into one place right so in the same way it is a process of finding a model that distinguishes the data items that is so you are distinct you are classifying kit kat and dairy milk based on what maybe based on the name or maybe based on the color of the wrapper right you are taking something you are finding something some attribute or some reference through which you are you know distinguishing the data items so when you are distinguishing the chocolates as i said in my chocolates example so what is the thing that you are taking you can take the name of the chocolate or 
by wrapper of the uh, you know chocolate it is more easier right so here what is the model wrapper wrapper color is a model right so like that you are finding some model in order to distinguish the data items that you are having got it that is about the classification now decision tree what do you mean by decision tree i have already explained about decision tree in machine learning uh, videos so i hope you all have seen the machine learning videos as well so for classification basically we are using this decision tree algorithm which which we can classify the data easily got it so this is about classification next we have the regression regression is nothing but it is a statistical methodology and why do you use this it is used for numerical prediction of missing data so if any data is missing in place of that data you will be predicting something and how do you do those predictions based on the previous data that is also you can also say it as target data okay target data actual data and so many terms you'll be coming across in the coming videos so actually we had data warehouse and data mining in my engineering since our college is autonomous college we had dwdm so even my juniors also they are having now data mining only i don't know you know regulations keep on changing right so i no i guess i studied about target data and all see data mining data warehouse and data mining i did not really study with that interest just you know okay that's another topic mm, statistical methodology that is used for numerical prediction of missing data so how do you predict the data based on the previous data for example you are having a sequence like you are having 2 3 4 mm, 6 7 8 10 11 12 and you don't have the this number okay then you will be predicting like this is missing right and after this you have again like 15 16 17 like that you have some some so, so and so on so on but you in missing some data are being missed so based on the previous data based on the pattern you observe this pattern and you will be predicting the data like how we do a number series like an aptitude like that you will be predicting the data that is what regression means okay next cluster analysis so what do you mean by cluster first of all cluster is nothing but group right data items are clustered based on the principle of maximizing the intra class similarity and minimizing the inter class similarity don't worry don't get confused intra class is nothing but within the class within the same class okay inter class uh, inter class is nothing but between two different classes okay within between within means inside this between means between these two things maximizing the intra class similarity that is intra within the class maximizing the similarity of the objects which are present inside the cluster and minimizing the similarity between the objects which are present outside the cluster got it that is so uh, these are the clusters we have we have some data sets like these are all the data sets okay dots represent the data so these data items are classified into three clusters based on the similarity between those things okay so whatever data sets are inside this cluster inside this cluster one whatever the data items are there all those data items are similar to each other they are very similar to each other okay the similarity between the items which are inside this cluster is maximum okay and the similarity between the items which are inside this cl cluster or also maximum here also maximum but the similarity between the items which are inside this cluster and inside this cluster should be minimum this is what minimizing the inter class inter class between two classes or between two clusters okay got it now you understood right so within the cluster the similarity between the data objects should be maximum and between two different clusters the similarity between the data objects should be minimum okay that is how you divide into clusters and analysis of these clusters is called as cluster analysis that's all that is cluster analysis the last one we have is the outlier analysis in outlier analysis which is also called as anomaly mining why anomaly i'll tell you first of all what do you mean by outliers outliers are nothing but among the data which we are having there will be some data points or there will be some data items which are not following the general behavior of the data right and those are called as the outliers those data items are called as the outliers they are also called as noise or exceptions as well what do you mean by anomalies which do not uh, 
obey the rules right which are not according to the rule which we have defined which are some abnormalities we can say like that so that is why we saw it as anomaly mining for example we have a set data set like this 2 4 6 7 8 10 12 and so on so in this data set what is the outlier 7 because all the other numbers are even numbers 7 is the only number which is not even right so that is why it is called as the outlier got it and analysis of these outliers is called as outlier analysis actually outlier analysis is a very big topic we have so many algorithms in that we have so much to learn in that so when that comes i'll explain about that okay so this is all about the functionalities of data mining okay we have concept or class descriptions and we have mining frequent patterns associations and correlations mining frequent patterns associations and correlations on we also have classification and regression for predictive analysis number 3 and we also have cluster analysis number 4 and number 5 is the outlier analysis okay this is about the functionalities of data mining don't worry all the uh, videos will not be this long okay so let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel bye